Alright, here is a quick video on doing graphics that are centered on two different sides of a tumbler or cup or whatever your cylinder happens to be. Alright, so the first thing we do is we actually need to measure the circumference of the cup um, as well as the length of the engraving area. So I'm going to do this in light burn because it's just easier to explain it that way. So once I know the circumference, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box here. Um, this is my circumference of the thing. And this direction is going to be the height of the engraving area. And just to make things easy on myself, I'm going to make this exact, or at least a little bit more exact, 200. I can hear you. And then we'll just do a 180, just to make nice even numbers. Okay, now we're gonna lock this. So this box is a representation of the entire engraving area that is going to be on the tumbler. So I'm gonna set this over here just to make it obvious it's a tooling layer and I'm gonna lock it in position just to make my life easier um, while I'm doing this explanation. So let's say we have a graphic, we'll put him on a new layer, we'll make him blue, and we have another one, we'll make you a circle like this, and we'll put him on a different layer here. All right, so this is what we need to do. So, you know, obviously, you know, these guys are uneven. I'm just going to say I want these guys in the middle of my engraving area. Um, so I'm going to line these vertically. And technically, I should actually do an entire vertical this way. I have to unlock this real quick so that they can all be horizontally you know, be centered. Now I'll lock this into position. All right, so in order to get this to be exactly where we want it on each of our graphics to be exactly you know, mirrored from each other, you know, it, this is math. So we have our 200 um, millimeters in this instance, uh, of space. Um, we have this guy who's 59. You know, to make nice even numbers, we're going to make him 60. And we'll make this yeah, yeah, close enough. Heights. Yeah, we'll do 70 just to make it a little bigger. All right. So this is literally math. Um, so we have his height is 60 and his height is going to be 70. So let's use calculator. 70 plus 60 equals 130. Um, that is the total area that is going to be taken up by these guys. And then we need to subtract that from our 200. So we'll convert this over to minus plus 200 equals 70. So there are 70 millimeters worth of space left over that our two graphics don't take up. So what we do is we're going to divide this by 2, divide that out. So this says that each one of these, you know, there should be 35 millimeters of distance between each one. Um, so that they work out. Now, the trick here comes into, we've got our wrap, right? Um, we're going to be wrapped around, so technically this end and that end are the same end, right? So one of the things I do just to kind of cheat is I'm going to make a, another square, and he's going to be 35 millimeters in height. That is exactly where I want him to be. And I'll just make him a different color to make him obvious. And I can actually line these up and go, okay, there's 35 millimeter. And then I can move my other graphic down. So it's exactly 35 millimeters. So now we've set our graphics exactly 35 millimeters apart, um, but we still have our top and bottom to get rid of. Well, half of it's gonna be on the top half is going to be on the bottom. So 35 divided by 2 is 17 and a half. So I need another box that's going to be 17.5 like that. 
and we just have to do this once. So if we bring him over here and line him up exactly with the top of our other graphic, and then select all these guys, and we can move them up so that he is exactly at our piece. Yeah, I'm probably slightly over. Now we can also double check ourselves by making a duplicate of this. Control C, Control V. Make sure, did we actually get it exactly where we wanted it? All right, let's zoom out and zoom back in. Let's make sure we are right on our line. And did we get right there? Yeah, we are off by a, a smidgen. Um, now, in how big is that? Mm, we're talking, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Um, it's probably related to me not actually having it exactly where it needs to be right here. There's our smidgen. But now you have the idea. Um, if I get rid of these boxes like this, I'm now ready to roll. Um, you know, set up my, my graphics the way that I want them. They're exactly spaced, and the center of this graphic and the center of this graphic are 180 degrees different from each other. So, there's lots of things like taper and blah, blah, blah that, that I'm not covering here, but this is the basic essentials of how to do it. Hope this helps.